Nick, how would you, how'd you characterize that round? It's really hot. <laughs> um, no, I thought I played good. I hit you know, a pretty loose shot on two, hit it. I thought it was out of bounds, but it turned out to be fine. And got a good break and made a birdie. And, and honestly, from there, I just kind of put it in play. I made some good par putts coming down the stretch. The putters felt, honestly, the best it's felt all year the past, uh, past two days, so it was nice. What's felt so good about your putting? I, I don't know. I, the past couple weeks, I've struggled to get it outside of Reno. The past, I've struggled to get my lines to match up, whether it's you know my shoulders or my ball line or, or whatever it is. I've struggled to get everything to match, and uh, for whatever reason this week, they're, they're, it's matching up nicely. For you in this heat, you mentioned how hot it is. What's the hardest thing for you to kind of focus on to make sure you're you stay in you stay in shots and everything? What's the hardest thing with the heat that maybe affects you? Yeah, um, recovery. Um, I've got my uh, my trainer Clark Holzer. He's the the head basketball at, at, at Alabama. He's here this week to help me out. So. Um, yeah, I mean, drink way more than you think. And, and honestly, for me, the hard part's, I, I typically drink enough on the golf course, but the hard part's eating enough. For me, it's really hard to eat when it's this hot. So that's kind of, that's been the one thing I've been focused on. Getting three straight birdies to start your round after a 67 yesterday. How important was that for you in getting some momentum for the rest of the round? Yeah, I, I think kind of the meat of the round, or the, the meat of the holes is, you know, from five to, to 12 or 13. That's, you, you know, you got some really good holes in there. And this course, it allows you to kind of get off to a good start. If you can, you know, hit some hit some good tee balls, it, it allows you to kind of hit, have some wedges and have some good looks. But um, yeah, I just kind of set the round in rhythm. I felt like I didn't have to didn't have to press or make anything, and, and you know, made a couple putts to make some birdies and keep it going. Coming into the week outside the top 50, did you feel like you have to play more aggressive to kind of get there? No, I, I just. It's the same game plan I've had all year, honestly. You know, try to drive it and play, give my putter some looks, and um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully keep it going. Being from Huntsville, Alabama, are you kind of more used to this humidity weather? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I was telling Hunter, is like if there's anybody that's going to be somewhat used to it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be us. So yeah, it definitely helps being from the south and playing in this kind of heat. Nick, can you kind of just I'm watching the US Amateur right behind me? Can you just kind yeah. of put in perspective the fact that it was a year ago this week that you won the US Amateur and where you are a year later? Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable, honestly. Like, I mean. If you'd have told me I'd have been standing here, or honestly, if you'd have told me I'd have two top tens in a tour event, you know, much less um, two wins, I would have called you crazy. So, very honored and very fortunate to be standing here, and I've I've gotten to watch. I probably watched more of that than I have this tournament this week. Um, I'm honestly just looking forward to it uh, changing somebody else's life as well. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you.